But Andrew Yang, if you were Mike Bloomberg and your reason for getting into the race, not only was you really wanted to be president and have for a long time, is you didn't think Joe Biden's up to it and you do not want, above all else, Donald Trump to become the president. What do you do? Well, you take a long, hard look at your path ahead. If Mike ends up underperforming in the Super Tuesday states, he may be below the 15 percent threshold to get delegates in many of those states. He hasn't bought ads past Tuesday. And I think Mike's a very, very rational actor where he's not going to be the spoiler. If he senses that he's the spoiler, I think he makes a very uh, quick decision about making a change. And one of the things I said uh, the other night was that Mike obviously can bankroll any candidate he chooses. He chose himself. But if he drops out, then I think he would put his money behind <laughs> the strongest moderate, which at this point is clearly Joe Biden. David Axel, what do you think about for Mike Bloomberg's path ahead? Look, I think he, the, the whole rationale of his candidacy was that he, he wanted to represent that center left wing of the party and he felt Biden was going to falter. That plan has gone awry now. Biden hasn't faltered. And as long as Biden is competitive in this race, as he apparently will be now, uh, there, where's the path for, for Bloomberg here? I think he's going to, I mean, I guess he'll, he'll go through Super Tuesday, but uh, I, don't think, uh, I, I don't think he has television ads scheduled for after Tuesday. And I think he and his, his team are going to have to have a hard discussion yeah. if Biden's momentum <clears throat> continues on Tuesday and he finishes second and closest to Bernie Sanders. I remember when I was in the field and Bloomberg declared, and we were very, very concerned about what state he was going to enter in. And to me, Bloomberg made a really crucial mistake by not getting in on South Carolina mm -hmm. because he was on the debate stage in South Carolina. He had many endorsements, including from mayors in South Carolina. And advertising really works in South Carolina. If he'd put his ad dollars to work in South Carolina, I believe he'd have double digits tonight and he'd be suppressing Biden's margin of victory. But the fact that he waited until Super Tuesday is going to give Joe a real burst <clears throat> of momentum. And I think it's going to be potentially yeah. a difference maker. And yeah. he also ran into a buzzsaw named Elizabeth Warren on the debate stage, uh, who really, I think, in some ways exposed him as somebody who in the past, obviously, uh, endorsed and supported uh, Republicans like Lindsey Graham uh, in South Carolina, talking about his record uh, in terms of stop and frisk, uh, as well as discrimination lawsuits uh, at his businesses. Uh, so there was one thing for him to spend all this money, $400 million, on campaign ads, but somebody else uh, showed up and in some ways was exposed. Well, I mean, the, que the, que the question is not whether he should have gotten into South Carolina. That's one question. Another is, should he have gotten into the debate <laughs> right. before Super Tuesday? There was always that danger of the Wizard of Oz thing where you have to step out from behind the commercials, and uh, he lost in that uh, in that. Michael, experience. we haven't heard from you. Team, subscribe for more of these type of videos.